Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal and this is Crystal's World. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell right beside it to be notified for future videos. Like the video, share it with your friends. So today I'm going to talk about how to use the Anki app. Stay tuned. So I'm going to show you guys how you can register for the Anki app. The first thing that you need to do is to go to Google and just type in Anki web sign up. All right, it will bring you to this page here and you just need to select account register. Okay, so once you're there, you will need to register and you just need to enter your email here again and then your password and select sign up. Now I already have an account with them, so I, I'm not going to sign up again. So this is how you sign up. So once you create your Anki web account and you want to log in in the future, you can just simply type Anki web login and it will bring it up right here and just select account and login and it should automatically log you in or you need to enter your email and your password. All right, so now to, as you can see here, I already have some decks because this month I am, this term, I'm doing accounting and English. So I have created some, some questions for that. And each week, as you can see, I have week one, week two, week three for each course. So what I do is each week I add questions in here so that I can, you know, just go through them randomly and just test my knowledge. All right, so let's let's uh, let's get started. So I must say, when you just get started, you will notice that you will see. I think it's called default. You're going to see a default deck right there. You can choose to use that default deck, but if you want, you can just create your personalized deck with the name of the course that you're doing. So you know you're more organized. All right. So the first thing that you need to do is to select add. All right. And honestly, I don't even use these things. So I just let it stay at basic and deck is what you should name your, your folder. All right. So for example, you're doing accounting, you would put accounting here. All right. So I'm going to name this random, random stuff. All right. So in deck, you put random stuff. For front, you're going to ask your, you're going to put your question. So for this random, random stuff question, I'm going to ask, when did Jamaica gain independence? All right. So you put your question there and at back, you can put the answer. All right. So the answer is that. So what I like to do, because at University of the People, they do multiple choice exams, right? So what I like to do is to add some options here so I can test myself. So I would say, for example, August 5, 1982, and I put B, um, September, oops, September 6, 1962, and then I put C, August, 6 1962 all right so let, let us go ahead and save that so i don't normally put anything at tags yeah so i just leave it like that so you just select save so as you can see this is your question and if you're if you are looking for a multiple choice you know you, you select one and then the answer would be this all right so let's select save all right so it's save so now you can just continue to add other questions in the same random folder or whatever the folder is called right and you just do the same thing over and over again for until you have what you want okay and then to see everything you just go to decks and as you can see right here it, it pops up under random stuff so let's go on random stuff all right so it brings up the question when did Jamaica gain independence? So you're going to ask yourself this question and you can say, hmm, they gain independence August 6, 1962. Then you're going to select show answer. 
all right and good you got it correct so if you got it right then you would select good if you got it wrong you could select again if it was like super duper easy and I mean you didn't even have to think about it then you can select easy I like to select good even if it was super duper easy because I want it to come back again so I can you know have it fresh in my mind but if it's super duper easy I normally will select easy so I must say that so as you can see again has one minute so this means that it's going to bring back the question again in one minute good has 10 minutes that means it's going to bring back the question again in 10 minutes easy means that it's going to bring back the question in 40 days. so you always want to check here so i've noticed that sometimes this changes sometimes good will have four days and easy will have a longer time so you know you want to keep an eye on that so you can know when to do the when the question will come again all right so I have the Anki app on my computer so I can access it offline and I also have it on my cell phone. All right. So as you can see, the random stuff has already been added here. But normally when you download the app, you will need to log in and sync so that whatever you added on the website can be automatically added to your app okay so if if this was not here you would just simply select sync and then it would appear here so this is how it looks on the computer version all right so you see it looks a bit different and i think it looks similar to this on the the self the cell phone app all right you show your answer there we go 